Free pecan log, yes! Okay, let's head on out. And these trees were blown down in a storm about two, three weeks, I guess it's been about four weeks ago now. And uh, there's a uh, Bradford pear and there is a pecan tree, pecan to everyone, uh, that uh, blew over, a big one. Uh, crushed her fence and all that. Well, she had a, a tree company come out and what they did was they cut everything up and they left, as she said, the trunk. So I'm not sure how much or how big it is. Trailer may be overkill or it may not work and we might have to go ahead and cut up the log. So I guess, I guess we'll see uh, as soon as we get there. So, all right, I'll see you guys. So here's the log. Uh, my plan is to bring my trailer back up under this straight enough and cut it so it falls right into the trailer and then the other part I can cut up and then pull into the trailer also. So, and then I'll have to get rid of all this stuff when I get back home. So, I'm kind of afraid if this, when this drops, it's going to blow the tires on this little trailer. That is a big old log. All right, I think that's gonna do it. <laughs> so I'm kind of worried that if I cut this, it's gonna hit the trailer so hard, it's gonna bust the tires or do something wrong. Uh, but I also think that if I start cutting it, it's gonna slowly creak down and then it'll drop once I get it cut. But I am thinking about dropping this part off, this crotch part off. I need to pull it forward and bring it backwards a little bit more. See if I can get this up under it and get a big piece on there. And then I can cut the last part of that. All right, so I think that's about as far as I can get right now. cutting down here at the base of the tree is half of it's in dirt. I wish I had a jack to jack this up to cut it. But alas, I don't, so. I gotta make a decision, shit. So I don't have room for that big old log on the trailer. And I'd have to jack it up to get it onto the trailer, which I can do. I just don't know if I can do it alone. Ah, oh, crap, okay. So I need to get this up about a foot and a half off the ground. So I'm gonna do this, but that first log is too big. So. I'm gonna try to get a smaller log, one under here first, and then go from there. As a matter of fact, 
let's uh, do it this way. And I think we can do this, so. So, it's up an inch or two now. I think rocking back and forth may do this. All right, it's getting there. I'm gonna to try to make room for the log right here so I ain't gotta come back. Speed up as far as I can here. Um okay. I got an idea. All right, so time to use the come along. I'll set that up and then we'll go from there. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this come along to pull this sucker up. Alright, time to get this stuff back to my house and unload it uh, with all the other logs and I can start processing some of this to do some turning blanks with so they can start drying. So six months from now I'll have some wood. So let's get going out to the, uh, to the house to take these off. Alright, well that was a lot bigger job than I thought it was. Uh, a lot bigger tree than I thought it was. <laughs> Uh, that thing's uh, about 24 inches around uh, diameter so um, this is gonna be a lot of work to get this off the trailer by myself uh, so uh, but I'm gonna get it home get it off the trailer and let's start turning it into to processing it into turning blanks that'll probably be another video Okay, uh, let's uh, let's get this thing going. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. This pecan at the base is about 20 inches plus. Uh, if this is your first time here, if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell so you know when stuff's coming out. Head on over to Instagram. It's moonpie underscore creations there. I do sneak peeks of all my wood turning projects and, and woodworking projects over there. Uh, I'm also on Facebook at moonpie creations. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my bowls or my cutting boards, head on over to moonpiecreations.com. I have them for available there for sale. All right, until next time, thanks for watching. Too bad. No, ah, my leg. <laughs> almost, almost got my foot there. Woo! <laughs> oh, shit, that hurt. It's 10 in the morning too early for a beer, holy crap, I'm smoked.